Hi, Jasmine. Good morning. How are you? We have a winner, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. <laughs> we have you can't. a new Miss Double D We haven't met them all, We haven't no. met them all. <sighs> so, Jasmine, welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> you you are uh, wearing a Santa hat. Very nice. Very appropriate for the season. Um, you are a Pilates instructor from Huntington Beach. Now, I think there was some confusion when we saw your application. Kevin thought Pilates was some sort of martial I artistry. I didn't. I know what Pilates is. I've done it. Oh, you uh -huh. have? Really? Yes. It's oh extremely gosh. difficult. It's not easy. No, right. it is not. <laughs> but I figured um, she would be in shape. So my joke was she's going to be so in shape she could kick my ass. I didn't think it was. Uh, you you know. thought she was a ninja. I understand. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Exactly. So, Jasmine, how did you end up being a Pilates instructor? What was your what attracted you to doing that for a job? Um, well, when I was younger, I was actually a nationally competitive dancer, and Pilates really taught me how to um, strengthen and lengthen my body and move the right way. So that's why I joined, uh, started Pilates. <laughs> and do most people who come into your class are they shocked by how difficult it is? Um, yeah, I think that they're all really, really surprised. And um, when they come and see me, I think they're even more surprised at how intense it is because they're like, oh, you know, she looks, you know, like she looks she sweet. I'm, I'm yeah. safe. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> then we go in for the ass whooping. And you kick their ass, right. Yeah. Right. Um, so let's learn a little bit about you. So Huntington Beach, Pilates instructor. You heard about Miss Double December pageant. How? Um, well, actually, one of my girlfriends um, said, oh, my gosh, you have to enter. So I submitted myself, and then you guys gave me a call, and I was so excited. Fantastic. If <laughs> yeah. you wrote your autobiography, what would the title be? It never got weird enough for me. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Yeah. What's your talent? I can do the splits. Yeah, I'm very flexible. <laughs> okay. All right. What That's kind good. of competitive dancing did you used to do, by the way? Um. Lyrical jazz, tap, and uh, ballet. Same Me here. Too. Oh. Really? <laughs> Both of us. Yeah, we were mar part of a team that toured the world. Well, I will, I'm, I want to see that. No, we're just kidding. <laughs> no. So now, do you have a routine worked up for Friday at the slide bar, or are you just literally going to go out and do one split and, and hold for applause? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to do a little routine. Today I'll probably just do the splits and then I'll, I'll give you a little show on Friday. And you'll work up a routine okay. for yeah, Friday. Yeah, because Friday you'll have a little bit more room. There'll be a stage and whatnot. It's a little bit cramped. But we are going to be filming Jasmine right after this interview and putting it up at krock.com. So when you go later on today to cast your vote for her, and you can vote once a day at krock.com, you'll be able to see this interview, the video of this interview, and also be able to see the, the talent there. Um, okay, so let me see. Uh, porn star uh, made up stage name would be Sweet Cherry. Ooh, I can't. I'd be stunned <laughs> if somebody hasn't used that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, your superpower the, and what would it be would be invisibility. How would you use that, Jasmine? Um, I would like to go anywhere I want and just have the just be free to do it. It's so funny because Bean brought this up before because several girls have put this on on their uh, answer form, and that is we would think mostly guys would want this just so they could go. And it really? seems like there are a lot of girls who also want invisibility. Oh, yeah. Um, there's plenty of All right. ways that we could use it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell, us about, uh, tell us about the girls. How, how long have you had them, Jasmine? Um, oh, my whole yes. life. <laughs> oh, are we, are we natural? Is that what I'm finding out now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there a better way you can ask that than tell us about the girls? <laughs> what would you prefer, Kevin? How would you like know. to ask Just, that question? Uh, natural? <laughs> um, really? So those are real. That's outstanding news. Oh well, thank you. God is great. <laughs> you don't believe in God? Uh, I do now. Now that I met Jasmine, um, what do you? Uh, what'd you bring? What do you have in the bag there, Jasmine? Oh well, um, you know. I think you guys are all great here. And so I brought each of you, Kevin Bean and Miss Lisa over here, a free one month pass to pass to Equinox, which is where I teach at. Oh wow. And okay. so awesome. you're more than welcome to use it. And if you would like to come by and actually um, get a Pilates session, I'll give you a free one on top of that month for there free. There you go. So you'll yeah. make us cry. See, uh, I told you yeah. she would kick our asses, Bean. I told it's you. It's only because I care. It's only because I care. <laughs> and yeah. this is this is nude Pilates, right? I want to make sure we all are on the same page here. It is nude Pilates well, we're talking about, right? <laughs> we'll see how the day goes. It can be. Well, yeah. All right. One more thing before you go, Jasmine, and uh -huh. I like that you are a competitive person, but mm -hmm. you weren't you weren't smack talking your competition for Miss Double D, were you? That's not what I caught wind of, was it? No, what? she was not. Okay, I misunderstood that because I heard her talking about some girls with some camera angles. No, or something she was like talking that. about the oh, camera. The I was camera work. <laughs> I was talking about the camera. No, yeah. the, uh, all the girls are very lovely. I'm. Uh, it'll be a tough competition for sure. 
But it's okay if there is a girl fight, though. If that breaks out, that's fine, right? We're I'm all game. On, we're all I'm on board game. With that. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mary, kill, and why? Kevin, Bean, or Ralph? Uh, Mary, Kevin, because he's so sweet, and um, uh, I'll say <laughs> Ralph because I <laughs> he's. I guess he's he's also nice. And then um, kill Bean because he didn't come in person to see me today. <laughs> Tell us an embarrassing story. Um, okay, so one day I was teaching my class and I didn't realize, but midway through my pants were so see-through and that was around the time the Lululemon stuff came out. Oh my gosh, it was so embarrassing. I was It was not a good day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's your favorite K-Rock band or artist? Oh, that's so hard. Um, probably Muse and Arctic Monkeys and The Neighborhood. I can't decide. <laughs> What's the worst pickup line ever used on you? Oh my gosh. If a guy comes up to you and just says, sup, that is not a pickup line, guys. You have to engage the girl more than that. And no cheesy pickup lines. Just say hello and start a conversation. That's your best bet. <laughs> Where's the strangest place you've had sex? Um, so the strangest place I've had sex is on a party bus on the way to Vegas with my boyfriend at the time. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> Hi, this is Jasmine Adele. Vote for me. Thank you.